Hey, how's it going? If you just got booted off a of straight talk because you didn't switch your SIM card over to the Verizon one, then hopefully we can get you back up and running. All right, so my wife and I got uh, messages back in May and June saying that we had to switch over to the new Verizon SIM by July 6th or they would cut off our service. And they told us to order one of these new free SIM cards here. And we went ahead and did that, but we never installed it because I looked on all of the online forums and it was just horror stories of everyone's phones not working after they installed it. So we just decided to ride it out. July 6th came and went and nothing happened. So we figured we're good to go. That was until July 21st. And when we woke up this morning and all we could do was dial 911 or play on Wi-Fi. Since we both work from home, this is a bit of a monkey wrench in our day. Brief background on our phones. We both have Samsung S21s and they are both unlocked. We got them off of Swappa and we use Straight Talk. When I looked up both of our phones on Verizon's website, they said they should be compatible. So when I busted out the new SIM card today, I thought this will be easy, right? It's compatible. And instead, I was swearing like a pirate for 90 minutes trying to get this thing to work. Here's how I got it fixed. Step one, turn off your phone and remove the current SIM. Step two, if you got the free Verizon SIM that they were sending out a month or two ago, take that out, put it in your phone, and then reboot your phone. With your phone rebooted, it'll take about three to five minutes, and you'll get a text from Straight Talk saying, welcome to the network. Text back the word phone in order to uh, claim your free month of service and to get a new number. Since I kind of want to keep my number, I ignored this step. Instead, I thought it would be a good idea to text one step to 611611, and this was just a hassle. Nothing really happened. I basically typed in all of my info, no matter which way I chose my story along the way, pressing one or two, it ended up the same result that things were just not going to work. Feeling pretty sad, I decided to look at the envelope that the SIM card came with, and I used the instructions here, and I went to stbyop.com, straighttalkbringyourownphone.com, and I thought that this would work on the website using Wi-Fi. Again, that was not the case. It led me to it basically saying my phone was not compatible by the end of it, no matter which way I sliced it. So if you're like me and you have an unlocked phone and you went ahead and got one of the new Verizon SIMs, it's just waiting to be installed, but you don't know what to do, here's how you get it taken care of. Now, this is my creative alias on downdetector.com. John, nobody will figure me out. Now, the reason I think the instructions don't work is because they gave you a full 30 days to go through these instructions and do that. But since you procrastinated like me, they force activated it on the back end. So now when you go to try to do it, it just causes headaches because you're trying to activate a card that's already active. So it's just going to give you an error. So again, go through steps one, two, and three, where I basically said to take out the old SIM, put the new one in, reboot your phone, and after three to five minutes, you'll get a text message telling you to join the network by typing in phone. Again, ignore that. Do not type in phone. Do not type in one step, and do not go to stbyop.com. Nothing good will happen. Step four, if you're smarter than me, you'll realize that if you got a text that you're somehow on the network in at least a minimal way and um, go ahead and test out your phone. You'll probably be able to call and receive phone calls, um, but you probably won't be able to get on the internet yet. So on step four, when I came to this realization, I decided to call my mom. And when that worked, I decided to have her call me back. Once that was done, my phone actually popped up with a message saying that it would reboot itself and then it would implement the new SIM settings. And everything was great after that for me. My wife's phone, on the other hand, was a little more finicky. For hers, I still followed steps one through four, but I was not getting any further with, as far as internet working. And since I'm not tech savvy, it took me a while to figure this out, but here's what you do. You're going to want to change the APN settings. So for my particular phone, basically you go to settings, connections, mobile networks, and then access point names or APN. From there, I was not able to edit my wife's APN, but it did not match what mine was. So when I tr would try to edit hers, it would not allow it to save, and it would just say that I don't have access to that network. So instead of editing, I decided to add a brand new one, and that ended up working just fine for me. And all I did was I basically made the name right here, track phone, and then I made the APN trackphone.vzwentp. I will put that in the description below. With the new APN created, I switched over to that APN and instantly her phone was working again. I hope this helps you out, guys. Uh, feel free to leave me a like if it did. And if it didn't help you out, you can hit the dislike button as well. Sorry about that. Straight talk sucks, but we'll get through this together. Take it easy.